24 hours later, Maggie is settled in. She has been accepted. You know, there had to be a little head butting. Right. I've noticed the sheep, we saw it with, with, you know, hammerhead over there. Moses came in, he was like, oh, play with me. And they're like, thump. And he's like, oh, okay. And they kind of understood their boundaries. Yeah. They understood. She came in yesterday and, you know, she's a little girl. So yeah. you're like, don't do that. Myrtle comes up stomping her feet like she always does. You know, it's funny. These animals have personalities. They do. Uh, there's milkweed. She loves me. She comes up and she wants you, she loves you. She'll put your head on you and she wants you to scratch your ears and her eyes. Myrtle, no. Nah. Nothing. Nothing. She'll let you touch her on the head and maybe. Mavis, it's all about the food. Food. Eater. She wants the food. She weighs, <laughs> that's why she weighs 800 pounds. That's right. So, that being said, let's grab some fish. We're going to do something out here. It's that time of year. We're going to do a soup and sandwich today. All right. So, we went to the store real quick and we just got the items that we need for this. And this can vary. Now, this right here is just a piece of cod that we bought. This is going to be a seafood chowder dish. Now, we made this a long time ago, but our new viewers for our new spot will want to see this. This is one of our really, really popular pieces. Now, we're going to let this turn over and brown and get nice and done. And we're going to cut up in small pieces of our chowder. Let's go ahead and get a shrimp up here and cut them into manageable size pieces. And just think about if you're going to have a chowder or a soup, you cut them up into the size you want. Good boy, you tell those monsters not to get us. That's right. Ready? Now we're going to go ahead and pop our shrimp in here. Now this shrimp does not have to go long. I just want to get it in here and turn it a little bit pink. Sounds good already. And anytime we can get outdoors and do anything, we're for sure going to do it. I like cooking on the cast iron. We got the big green egg going. Now, when we talk about soup and sandwich today, we tried something a while back that just absolutely knocked our socks mm -hmm. off. So we're going to have a burger, but not your typical burger here in just a moment. And our fish going. Now in the last little bit, she absolutely loves scallops. Now, as you know, they get kind of milky. That's going to be the last thing we do. We're going to just lightly brown them, cut them up into bite-sized pieces for our soup. Now, as you can see, we're getting there, our fish. It'll get a little bit browner. And then we're going to set all this aside and start a whole, another whole process. Our, our fish is getting there. Now, if you can see this cod, it breaks up like that into those kind of pieces, which is perfect for chowder. See how each little segment will break up and then we'll cut those in half. And that's going to be the consistency for that is perfect for what we're doing. I'm going to go ahead and take this off over here. Look at that. Now, see that? Oh, wow. Looks like medallions. Almost looks like a clam or an oyster or something like that and has the right consistency I taste for this. Sure you good. probably shouldn't taste it because I know how your tasting goes. I should just uh, it. Then one taste goes to the next. Mm. Mm. Tastes <laughs> good just like that. I know it. So we're going to empty this out. Mm. Whatever we're cooking, anything that has to do with seafood, Nikki has to have. Scallops. She loves her scallops. Now what yeah. I'm going to do, they tend to get a little milky, so I'm going to put them in a real hot skillet real quick. Mm -mm. Just get them really nice and brown on each side, then turn them over. Let me just tell you this right now. This is rich. There are calories involved. <gasps> uh -oh. It's winter time though. So we need those. And we need to uh, make sure there's lots of fat covering our rib and right, for protection. internal organs for protection <laughs> so, that, so we don't freeze to death. That's right. So you can do this every That's now right. and then. That makes sense. Right? Yeah. Isn't that what we're That makes turn? sense, yeah. I agree. But every now and then, now we like to try to stay as healthy as possible, but every now and then, and man, this is that time of day. I mean, it, the temperature's dropping. I now, yesterday, when we got the puppy, it was nice and warm. Today, you can feel the temperature kind of going down. I don't yeah. know what it's going to do the rest of the week, but. So, our scallops. Oh, yum. Oh, doesn't that look terrible? Should I eat one? No. Let's oh. for the soup. All right. These are about good? there. Now, look. How can you go wrong? Oh my. How can you go wrong when this right here is what's going to be in your soup? All right. This is rich. It's tasty. It's beautiful. If you don't have fresh 
seafood. You can use the canned stuff. We've used that before. All right, now, like any good recipe, we're gonna start off with some butter. He likes the smell of what we're cooking. Yes, he does. Now, we're gonna cut these onions up about fingernail size pieces. We don't want them too small. Get our butter going here. Now this recipe right here is very similar to one from some guys out in Western Kentucky, the good old boys. Man, those guys knew how to cook, especially when it came to wild game and things like that. All right, our onions are, good. are getting nice and brown around the edges. That's about how you want those onions to look right there. Starting to get translucent. All right, now, what do we do now? Two cans. Cream of potato soup. This comes together real quick at this point. Two cans, I'm gonna turn the heat down. Ready for cream cheese? Absolutely, let's pop one in here. Right. Now look how we can section this fish up and take each one of these pieces. See that right there, how it falls yeah. apart? Just cut those in half. Okay. And the consistency there is wonderful. Look at that, each little medallion piece, cut those right down the center. Now look at that. Okay. That's automatic. Okay, go ahead and toss those in here. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Hey, you know what? This is so fresh like this. Go ahead and cut your... Uh, How do you want those? Just thin pieces too? Cut those into little cubes. I'm gonna go ahead and put my shrimp, it's already cut up. Cut those into little cubes. And we have half and half. Now, it depends on how you want your consistency. You can go 24 ounces, you can go 32 ounces. Depending on how thick you want it, it's all coming together. This is gonna be thick and hearty. If you wanna do your potato soup from scratch, you could, but I find that if you've got all your stuff already ready, it goes a lot quicker that way. Go ahead and dump your scallops in there. Oh, this is gonna be silly. All right, now, I'm gonna finish this out. Just a little bit more pepper. Whose advice was that? The pepper bandit, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we give him such a hard time, we love. You talk about two of the nicest people in the they world. They are. Can I try it, just to make sure it's okay? <sighs> it's got the big chunks. Now this is a hearty, this is a hearty oh, so good. seafood chowder. Oh, wow. wow. It's magic, I'm just telling you, it's magic. Now, we talked about trying some grub you've never tried before. We tried this a while back. We don't put anything on the show unless we try right. it. And it stands up to, to what we like. Mm -hmm. River Hill Ranch, ground alpaca. It just has this nice sweet taste. There's nothing strong about it, nothing gamey about it. And you talk about the fact that it's leaner, it's better for you. Let's make two big patties out of this. All right. Now, when we're making hamburgers, I think about hamburgers like I think about steak. Same exact way, I cook it the same exact way. I wanna get it on a high temperature, a really high temperature. I'm gonna do mine about medium, and I wanna really get that hot on the outside, and I'm gonna season it with the same thing that I would season a steak with. All right, so we're gonna get this out in two big patties. Think again about your burger like a steak. These are gonna be huge burgers, by the way. Yes, they are. Mine's now, a little smaller. And I season those with salt and pepper and garlic. And I wanna sear these. I wanna get them nice and hot on the outside. I'm gonna cook them hot. I'm gonna let those flames get up. I'm gonna put some more hickory on there and let that baby roll. You know, I wondered if there would be a, a lamb taste or a goat taste or what exactly it would be. It is its own thing and it is sweet and delicious and moist. And I'm gonna let these, I'm not squeezing them, I'm not pushing them. I'm gonna let all that moisture stay inside. I'm gonna let them get to where I think they're about, where they need to be color-wise on the outside. And then I'm gonna let them set for about three or four minutes. Oh, our chowder. Did you try the chowder? I have. I mean, every time you don't look, I sneak a bite. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> All right, our smoke's still rolling. We've closed the top. We're resting that burger. Watch this. Mayonnaise. That's the base of just about anything. I like mayonnaise on all my sandwiches. Chipotle ranch, you say? About a tablespoon. And let's say we had four tablespoons of the mayonnaise, a little bit of Thousand Island, just for color. I'd say a teaspoon of that. And then, you want a little spice? Tony is the man. As much as you want right there, as much flavor. 
We're gonna mix up about enough for about two burgers. Now look at that color. How about let's switch to the table and eat and have some food. Yum. All right. Diamond gusset jeans made in America with American pride. At Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen, we love to cook on the original Salt Rocks grilling plate. Perfect for your use on your grill, in your oven, on your cooktop, or at a campfire. Using Salt Rocks grilling plates makes an ordinary meal extraordinary. You cannot get it wrong. For exceptional tasting meats, vegetables, fruits, sweets, and more, start cooking with the original Salt Rocks grilling plate now. Order online at www.saltrocks.com or visit timfarmerscountrykitchen.com and visit our store.